Hi, hello, dear ones. Once again, welcome back to Nokeju. I'm Azil. So, hopefully, everyone is preparing for the upcoming IGNO semester examinations. So, in this video, we are going to look on the important questions that are asked in for the subject MCS 231 Mobile Computing. We all know that uh, this is subject for the MCS students for the fourth semester. So, after going through lots of previous year question papers and other sources also, we have noted down some important questions and some topics that are frequently asked in the question papers in the exams. So, hopefully, this video will be very useful to your friends who is writing MCS 231 mobile computing exam in the upcoming semester examinations for the IGNO. So, uh, without any delay, let's, jump, let's jump on to the questions. So, we have noted down some of the important questions and topics which you can cover and score up to 80 percentage in the exam. It's easy, very easy because uh, we all know that the IGNO books are divided into many blocks and it's very difficult for the students to follow up and study in each block, right? So, after going through this video, you can look into the topics which are discussed in this video and focus on that one also. And after that, if you have time, you can focus on other topics in the same subject. So, first give uh, focus to the topics which we are going to discuss in this video. So, hopefully this video will be very useful to you because uh, these are the many uh, frequently asked questions in the uh, for the past sometimes. So, in that way, we are going to jump into the video. So, first question uh, that are frequently asked in the exams is what is mean by multiplexing and how does TDM time division multiplexing differ from frequency division multiplexing. So, this question uh, it is asked in the same way or it can be asked only for the TDM or only for the FDM. So, you can study both time division multiplexing and frequency division multiplexing, its advantages, disadvantages and its applications also. It is a short question and it will be asked for 10 marks in the first section. And the second one we are going to look is uh, the terms guided transmission and unguided transmission with examples. The third topic, the difference between CDMA and GSM. Sometimes GSM alone is asked in exam. And the fourth one is features of 4G networks or advantages of 4G networks over 3G networks. 4G networks, networks is again a repeated question in the examination. Going forward, our fifth important topic. Uh, so, it is basically the features of some words that we are familiar with GPRS, LTE, IOS, XML and WiMAX. So guys, for sure we can expect at least two to three words like the to explain the features of these things in the examination. Either it may be GPRS or LTE or it may be IOS or XML. So WiMAX we can expect it as a separate question. So please go through these topics. So, ideally you can expect 2 to 3 topics like 2 to 3 uh, questions from these points. So, either uh, it can be asked as GPRS or LTE. So, in one year it is asked as IOS and XML along. So, in another year like it was asked as um, GPRS and LTE together. So, these are the 5 important topics you can cover and going to 6 question. So, it is basically a general question on this subject, um, what is mean by mobile computing, applications of mobile computing and mobile computing architecture with the help of a diagram. So, you can focus on the uh, definition of mobile computing and its applications as well. This one I have added, either it can be asked or uh, it cannot be asked. So, if you have time to go through this one, mobile computing architecture, you can cover that one also. And the seventh topic that we are going to focus is short note on ad hoc networks and cellular networks. So, it can be asked either ad hoc networks or cellular networks or both can be asked in the same examination. So, guys, these are the seven important questions that we have covered in MCS 231 mobile computing. We can expect um, many like 80 percentage of questions from this that we have discussed. 
so uh, along with this video i will be posting the model question like the pre previous year question papers in the video description so you can find in the description itself download it again and refer while you are like preparing for your examination so these questions please cover these questions like please cover these topics uh, it will be so useful to you while you are attending the examination and if you like this video if you find this video useful share to your friends who are attending this examination and if you need any other subjects please comment in the comment section okay we will be posting other videos as well in the upcoming days for the other subjects so thank you guys thanks a lot um, uh, good luck for your examination thank you